Yo, in this video I'll show some stuff we found in this game throughout the years. First of all, I'm emulating the game on the Duck Station PS1 emulator. This is the version that I'll be using throughout the video. Alright, let's move on already. This one is a classic. For the longest time I have been activating only a half of this easter egg. To trigger the first half, go behind this rock near the tunnel and shoot the bush with any gun until you hear the sound of someone busting their bones or something. Amazing work. Thank you, Dimitri Zuba, for finding this out in 2018. Much love. On to the next half. Go behind this green box and use some explosives on it. Once we step on the former position of the box, we get teleported. If you don't shoot the bush near the tunnel, you don't get this dialogue. Pretty sick. In this room we get some weapons. When we leave, we get the rainbow appearance and HUD. Now the level is refilled with new enemies. Go. Ah, good old Big Tanner. Once you engage him, your camera pans out for a better view. Quite cool. He has a decent amount of HP. If you let him touch you, he'll definitely make you unalive. You can escape it sometimes, but it happens rarely. Let's move on to a bug that I've found recently. You can actually get out of bounds if you do some jumps out here near the bridge. The death barrier that is supposed to kill you ends here. I'm trying to run into it, but it doesn't let me. Congrats, now we are out of bounds. There's not a whole much out here. Here's the room where the easter egg takes place. Wow, here's a spot where the game swaps out untouched objects with the destroyed ones. If I saw that thing in my childhood, I wouldn't have slept for a couple of nights. That is nightmare fuel. If you stand near the end of the bridge, the Tanzilla guy goes under it and kills you. There's two things I found in this cool map. If you mantle on the mini teleporter, you get glitched out a bit. Nothing too wacky or out of place. There's a way to get out of bounds in this map too. Jump over this gap. Mantle precisely on this edge right here. There you go, you're out of bounds. You can walk around on the map walls if that's your thing, or you can jump down onto the plane. Let's talk about the edge teleporters. When you reach the edge of the map, you get teleported onto the opposite side. This works with only two walls in a map. Most maps have a corner like this, when you run into it, you get launched up high into the air, the camera can't even keep up. Here we have one of those destructible switcheroos. You destroy a soda can near the end, it gets replaced with this one. Ooh, very scary. I found a shortcut in this map, maybe it can be used in a speedrun. You jump here, jump here, jump here again, jump here again again, and jump one more time. The skip, dude. You completely skip the part where you have to wait for the mines to be discovered. Big spooky spider warning. 
If you're having trouble in this part, you can jump over to the bridge and the spider AI won't be able to get to you. Eat that! Skip it a button, da -da. Another out of bounds glitch. On this map, reach this spot and run on the side of this wall. Nice. You're free to walk anywhere now. Meet the hole. There's no escape. Not much cool stuff in this one, but it's nice to see enemy AI freaking out. One of the map teleporters. Here's the classic Easter egg. Once you defeat the enemy waves at the end, backtrack through your steps a bit and you'll see this. Once you defeat the zombie, this message shows up. I'm pretty sure it's talking about the pinball item room near the end of the game, I'll cover that later in the video. This map has a skip and an out of bounds area. Right after destroying the tan helicopter thingamajig, head to this corner. Strafe a bit and jump up. Jump once more and GG. If you want, you can head straight to the end of the map. The only thing you need to do is kill these two guys. After that, the finish becomes triggerable. The same straight climb maneuver can be applied in this secret room right here. Nothing too crazy, you can climb onto this tower. And there's the destroyed stuff switch behind this wall. Yeah there's nothing huge in this one. You can jump on this sign and onto this wall. Pretty useless but pretty cool nonetheless. Alright, screw those transitions, they take too much brain power to come up with. In the desk map, you can come up to this boombox, and the music changes. Epic. You can shoot through walls in this game if they are thin enough. You can access this room either with this glitch or with a rocket launch. Party time! Onto the cool secret. Good to go. When you reach the end of this map, do a straight curved jump in this direction. You will get teleported out of bounds. I didn't find anything really special here. Bed map. You can jump in the same direction and you will get teleported out of bounds. Nice. Mm, square. There's a rocket launcher. Pretty useless since you can't come back up. You can also climb onto this cushion thing. Wow. Toy Isle. Not much of a secret, but when you reach the end of the map, you can jump down and collect some weapons. Makes this fight a bit more fun. Cashier map. You can jump on the fence. Yep. That's it. Nothing more. Good f pinball. Woo. Final map. At the start of the map, turn around and enter the hole. I'm pretty sure that this is what the zombie secret was referring to. Could be something different that we are yet to discover. Thank you for watching. Bonus alert. Bonus alert. If you activate the bloody chunks code L1 up down left right. Party time. You can destroy this house over here. You walk through and you're out of bounds. This is the place where the game stores the broken map models. By the way, all sorts of goofy shit can happen with this code. I'm casually playing through the game. Then bam. Half of the map is gone. Yeah this game is fun, give it a try if you wanna be- That's about it, see ya.